One of the, the moments I will never forget during the shoot was when the Legacy cast walked onto our, our big sort of act three set for the first time. And just watching them have the experience of stepping back in time to the first movie, um, you could see how much that family and these movies have, have meant to them. And I think there was just a real, there was a real sense of responsibility on our part. And, and honestly, just a very sort of humbled approach, wanting, knowing, knowing and really feeling like we were, we were the new kids <laughs> on the block. You know, we were stepping into something that, that really had roots. And, um, and that it was our job to find a way to, to move it forward, but to also really be aware of and pay respect to what had come before. It's the perfect blend of, of you know, a, a kind of a story that, that brings new characters into the mix while also touching on and paying respects to what came before. It's a baton pass, ultimately, kind of in its, in its, most, in its most simple of terms. It's, it's a baton pass from, from one generation and one legacy to the next. And I think also one of the things that Guy and Jamie did so well in putting it into the movie in such a concrete way is just like the first scream, and actually all, all the four screams, they illuminate something that's happening in movies and in culture at that time that you're not maybe aware of or you're aware of, but you don't have like a name for it, or you can't put your finger on it. And then what they did, it was the first time I think, I know at least for me that I read it and was like, oh right, that's a trend that has been happening now that I, I never consciously thought of. And then once you shine a light on it, you see it everywhere. I think one of the things that's really fun about calling this one Scream is that there was a way for us to organically in the movie, because of what the movie's about, because of fan culture, because of requels, to call it Scream and then shine a light on why it's called Scream within the movie so that the movie is making fun of itself for being called the same thing as the original. And that was really well stated. You, I'm surprised. Yeah, that, you nailed there it. There was a that lot was really of ways good. that I could have been tied in knots. <laughs> but like once that clicked for us and we realized that it was, it was organic and integral to the story we were telling, we got really excited about calling it Scream. I mean, it was always our aim to, to create an ensemble that felt like a group of real, of real kids. And I think we achieved that. And I, I, think, I think that that has a lot to do with, with diversity, but it also just, I think, again, has to do with, um, with energy and, and how those, those actors, that group, relates, relate to each other. And, and I think that you feel you feel the chemistry that we knew off screen with, with all of them, we think really exists in a, in a really distilled and amazing way on screen. One of the things we discussed a ton before and also with our DP, Brett, uh, was how do we make it feel aesthetically like it's of the screen world and also make it feel like it's of now and like it's fresh and modern. And I think that was one of the big balancing acts with production design. Yeah, that was kind music, of the big with, challenge, I would yeah, say, right? It, kind it, of creatively. I think it's the biggest challenge, is making it have that balance. So you don't feel like you're watching something that's totally divergent of what, you know, what is it, the thing that we all love.